Hey guys, it is Arika Misha jumping right into it today. Today we will be cooking, uh, we will be cooking some air fried steak. Uh, we'll be having some Idahoan loaded baked potatoes. Uh, let's see what we got in here. We got sour cream, cheeses, onions, chives, butter, bacon, all that good stuff for the Idaho potatoes. Remember I told y'all, the potatoes better come from Idaho. I don't know nowhere else to get your potatoes from now, y'all. But you see, we got our water boiling, quick, easy potatoes. Boil your water, pour in your potatoes. Let me get another fork. Pour in those potatoes. You cut this heat down. Boil your water, pour in your potato. And that's it. Done. Just like that. Whoa, whoa. Calm down, y'all. Calm down, potatoes. Calm down. Done. Just like that. Whoa. Dropping potatoes. Quick and easy potatoes. You just get the water boiling. Then you pour in your potatoes. Quick, easy potatoes. Now, I've got some lobster meat over here. Let me finish getting these stirred up real good. I got some lobster meat over here. I got this butter that's sauteing over here. I'm going to go ahead and pour that lobster meat in there. I think I'm going to add a little milk to my potatoes because those potatoes are a little too dry for my liking. Hold on, you all. Oh, I dropped some potatoes. I'm going to pour a little milk. I'm going to pour a little milk in my potatoes. All right, over here to my butter. Let's sauteing. Let me take y'all over here. All right. I'm telling y'all, I'm just jumping in right now. Just jumping in. All right. So let me get my let me get my milk out. I want to add a little milk to those potatoes, loosen them up. They're still a little dry for me. I always have to add milk to those Idaho potatoes. All right, let me zoom y'all in some quick little meal. Steaks in the air fryer. I got some lobster meat here. Show y'all this little new lobster meat I'm addicted to from Publix, just the little lobster meat pieces. That's all it is. And I just season it overnight, of course. All right. I'll put that in there. Cut my heat down. We'll need high heat for this. I got it seasoned with everything. Salt, pepper, onion, garlic, um, onion, garlic, um, what else I got in here? Um, I got some little Cajun, make it a little spicy. Got some Old Bay, because y'all know what I say, because he a Old Bay. He a Old Bay, child. He old. But yeah, we got some of that in here. And I think that's all I put in here on the lobster. And I had three tablespoons of butter in there. Uh, three tablespoons of butter in my pan. And I'm just going to saute this lobster in that butter. Get it all nice and juicy. And your lobster meat is already pre-cooked. It's already pre-cooked, so. I cut my heat down. Because we don't need high heat for this. Alright, I'm just sauteing it around in the butter. Mm-mm. Smells delicious. All right, we're gonna let that. Let me cut my heat back up just a little bit. So that lobster can get all get all that butter soaked in. Oh yeah, and I also put garlic on my lobster already. Garlic is in there as well. So we're gonna let that simmer. Let's go back over here to our potatoes. We're going to let that simmer for a minute. Let's go back over here to our potatoes. I want to add a little milk to these potatoes because they're a little dry for my liking. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Probably about half a cup of milk I'm adding to the potatoes. I don't like no dry potatoes now. 
So you add a little milk, makes it a little creamy, that's all. Nice and creamy. And if it's still too dry looking, which it looks like it is to me, I'm going to add another half a cup. Another half a cup of milk in there. And that should do the trick. Because I like my um I like my potatoes nice and creamy. Creamy potatoes, not dry potatoes. Creamy. Creamy potatoes. Let me cut this heat down over there on those on our lobster that's sauteing. Get this milk mixed in real good. Yeah, looking much better. I can't be eating no dry potatoes. Them potatoes be about to choke me. When they all dry like that. Okay. That's looking good. I already added a little salt to my water, so I don't need to do nothing else. Okay, potatoes. Let me find out. They are looking delicious. And that's it. Quick, easy potatoes. Quick and easy potatoes. We did those in like what? Three minutes? Took us about three minutes. Let me get over here to this lobster meat that is sauteing. Over here to our lobster meat that is a sauteing. I'll take y'all in to that lobster meat. Be y'all out a little bit. Okay. Alright, cut that water off. Alright. Nice sauteed lobster meat. Mm, 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 mm. I think I'm going to pour some of this this water off because it's kind of a little watery. Hold on, y'all. Let me pour some of this off. I'm going to pour some of this water off and then I'm going to add I think I might add a little bit more butter back to it. Okay. Draining some of that water off. We want all that water. Get that out of here. Okay. Let me taste it. Let me taste a little bit. Mmm, that's so good. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God. I love that lobster meat. It is so good and juicy. Mmm. Okay. I am going to add a little butter. Let me put my top on my potatoes. Yep. Quick and easy. The lobster and the potatoes, quick and easy. Hold on, y'all. Let me grab some butter. I'm gonna add a little butter to the lobster. I'll probably do like another, like two more. Yeah, I'll do two more tablespoons of butter. All right, and I'm just gonna melt that butter. that butter in there all right y'all see it all right I got my heat off just gonna go ahead and melt this butter in there so our lobsters not dry So I'm gonna finish mixing this in, fixing that, um, fixing, mixing that butter into our lobster. All right, so that is it for the potatoes and the lobster done in like five minutes. So we got our potatoes done, we got the lobster done, both of those done in five minutes, y'all, quick and easy. So I'll be back to show you guys me putting the steaks in the air fryer. And I'm doing the steaks in the air fryer today because I want them to be nice and juicy. I'm telling you, if you've never had a steak from an air fryer, oh my goodness, it is a must do. The air fryer has those steaks so nice and juicy and tender. 
and not all rough the air fryer just oh so that's what I'm doing today so I'll be back to show y'all uh, me putting the steaks in the air fryer okay guys I'm back I've got my two steaks in already I'm cooking a total of four but I'm gonna do two at a time of course in my air fryer I've got my aluminum foil down sprayed it with a little cooking oil got my two steaks down they are all nicely seasoned marinated overnight I got all kind of seasons on there some garlic um so they are ready I'm gonna spray them with some oil across the top the oil helps your food cook so and today I'm using my Bertoli olive oil Bertoli spray all right so gonna go ahead and get it in my air fryer over here my Emerald Legacy air fryer Emerald all right let's see what we're gonna do all right let's see I'm gonna leave it for what it's programmed at 370 degrees for 15 minutes mine's automatically programmed to 370 for 15 minutes of course I can change the temperature but I'm gonna leave it at that 370 degrees 15 minutes that's what I'm gonna leave it at and we will be back to take these steaks out of the air fryer nice quick easy meal if you want to do it through the week it's quick and easy when I do it on the weekend Sunday dinner however you want to do it quick easy meal that tastes like you've been in the kitchen all day all day so all right, y'all, we waiting for these steaks to get done. Y'all already saw the potatoes. Y'all saw the um, the uh, sauteed uh, lobster meat. And basically, I'm just going to uh, have the steak, the grilled steak. I'm going to lay some of that juicy buttered garlic uh, lobster meat over the steak with the potatoes on the side. It's going to be amazing. And, of course, before I forget, because y'all know I'll be talking, I just wanted to give y'all the word of the day, what God has been dealing with me on, sharing my word that God deals with me on with you guys. Just just sharing y'all know I love to share and this could be for somebody hey I don't know I, I just want to share so what well, God woke me up this morning talking to me about how can I explain it because you know a lot of times it's personal but I'm trying to like you know make it so that y'all understand what I'm saying God was saying to me this morning that there's gonna be changes and I know a lot of times we don't like change, but God was letting me know, hey, it's going to be some changes in your life. Things are going to happen in your life. And I know we don't like changes, y'all, but sometimes we think a, a bad change is bad, but it's for our good, you know? Like, people that you was good friends with, you're not good friends with them no more. It's like, it, it's like God just call, calling you into separation, calling you to go to another level, you know? That's just how it is. Like, I ain't trying to fall out with you, but that's just the way God doing it, you know? And that's what God was dealing with me on. Just letting me know that there's going to be some changes. And a lot of changes have already happened. And I'm like, God, what's going on? And he's like, you know what? You just got to know. Just got to know that I got you. And we have to be able to accept changes that God make in our lives. And a lot of times we think it's not good. But later on we'll see, okay, God, I see why you did that. Because I know I've done that plenty of times. Like, oh, God, no. And then later on I'll be like, oh, God, I'm sure glad you made that change. Because I couldn't have made it. But thank you, God. You know? So that's what he's been dealing with me on. Changes. Don't be afraid of changes because you know what? Those changes, if God do them now, I'm just talking about God doing them. If God makes some changes in your life, it's pretty much for our best. So, all right, y'all. Let me go on and let me, uh, when I come back, I'll be showing y'all the steaks. And that will be the grand finale. All right, y'all. Okay, guys. Back for the grand finale. Um, I did uh, cook the steaks 15 minutes. I flipped them over um, and I did them for about, I think I put it on 10 minutes uh, for the other side. So they should be nice and done. You go ahead and get them pulled out. Ooh, yes. Yes. Hold on. I got to make sure y'all can see. I got to make sure y'all can see. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh, look at those. Mm, mm, mm. I got to hold them up so y'all can see. I'm telling you, if you've never had air fried steak, you missing out. It's a must have. And see the air fryer, keep it all nice and juicy. Yes. Well, y'all, I'm ready to go eat. So, all right. Y'all don't seen the steak, seen the potatoes, seen the, the lobster meat. So, I got to go. So, I just wanted to make sure I came back and showed y'all the uh, grilled LA steaks. And yes, don't forget that word of the day, guys. That word of the day, I love to share. So, all right, guys. 
This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge always power. All right, guys. Bye.